Hello and welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can increase the maximum brush size limits of brushes that you have. Procreate brush size is controlled by this slider. I'm going to be demonstrating today using the 6B pencil from the sketching panel. So it's one of the included brushes when you download the app. Because it is a pencil brush, it's meant to replicate the experience of using a pencil. It is especially limited in size range, more so than other kinds of brushes. For every brush, this size range is static. So that means that it doesn't scale proportionately if you change the size of the canvas that you're working on. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's what this 6B pencil brush looks like in a 100 by 100 pixel canvas. The brush, when I use it on here, looks huge, but the actual brush size itself is still the same amount of pixels when I use it in this tiny canvas as when I use it on a huge canvas. We are just on this 100 pixel canvas looking at a super zoomed in version right now. So if I switch to a huge canvas, I'm going to my settings and resize this. So I'm making this about 30 inches or 76 centimeters. So the brush size when I use the pencil here is still the same amount of pixels on the screen, but we're of course zoomed out because we're working on a much larger surface area. So it appears smaller. Now, these are wildly extreme examples, but even on a reasonably sized canvas, the default size range of a brush can be limiting. So by increasing it, you're able to save yourself some time if you're coloring something in and just help you get more use out of the brushes that you already have. Okay, so the brush studio is a little overwhelming and can definitely be confusing, but we're gonna dive right in. I promise you can handle it. These are just a couple tweaks that we're gonna do. So to access a brush setting and the brush studio, you just tap on a brush and it brings up the brush studio. Once you're in here, anything you do, if you don't wanna save the changes, tap cancel. If you want to, tap done. So when you first get in under about this brush, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a reset point. If you are using a default Procreate brush, you can skip this. There will always be a reset all settings and it'll bring it back to the original state. If you are using a custom brush, make sure that it has a reset point set. If it doesn't, set one so that you always have that same original version to go back to if you made changes that you don't like. So then the first way to increase it is under properties, which is third from the bottom here. There is under brush behavior, a maximum and minimum size setting. And for the pencil, for this 6B pencil, it's actually set super low. So I can easily just increase the overall brush size with this slider, but it only goes to a certain point. When we go into our mega large canvas, this is way bigger and gives us a much broader range. However, if you want it to be still larger, there are a couple more ways that you can do this. Go up into stroke path, it's the very first option, and under stroke properties, increase spacing. I recommend increasing it one to 4%. You'll have to play around with it, but the more you space the brush out, the more the shape just becomes a stamp brush. And so if you space it out even 10%, you start to see the edges of the shape. It isn't overlapping in such a smooth way. Adjusting the spacing directly will not increase the brush size. However, once you adjust the spacing, if you go back down to properties, there is more space to increase along the maximum brush size. And that is a pretty substantial increase, but you might notice that your brush looks a little different. If I zoom in here, you can see the edges are a little tighter, a little more clean, and here in the larger, more spaced out version, you're starting to see more jagged corners and some transparency on the edges of the brush stroke. If you want to fix that, what you can do is go into shape and this is our brush tip. Under here, we're going to increase the count. I'm gonna do to three and then you can see that that is more accurate to the original version of the brush. And this also means that you will have a less textured, a more opaque brush. There's going to be more pigment because you're putting down triple the amount of shapes in that area. 
Now I am using our revised brush to work on this unfinished drawing of birds that I have. Since how you might use a brush in practice looks a little different than the random scribbles I was doing on the blank canvas. The maximum size of this brush also means that it has more of a range in response to the pressure sensitivity. So I can get those big leaf shapes here. So that's an added bonus. And the nice thing I think is that you can still use your revised brush on that smaller size, but you can quickly defill a large swath of space. You can do that with just the slider bar. One quick note, if you increase the shape count of the brush as I did in the last step, you might want to adjust some of the other settings to preserve the depth of texture that is otherwise lost. I would recommend adjusting grain, brightness, contrast, and or depth as a place to start. If you are interested in learning more about adjusting or making Procreate brushes, I have several videos that you can check out. I will link those in the cards and the description below. I hope these tips help you out. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about using Procreate, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.